Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Mobile police are investigating after they say shots were fired into a home. The incident coming just hours after a hearing in the murder case of three-year-old Tyron Edwards. His mother, Tatiana Edwards, is charged with felony murder. Her boyfriend, Abraham Hatch, is charged with capital murder. Attorneys say that there were some incidents after the hearing and the Hatch family was threatened. Then shortly after, police responded to shots fired, a call there at one of the family homes of the Hatch family on Thompson Drive South that's near Halls Mill Road. Police have not yet said if the shooting has anything to do with Tyron's death. They are still searching for a suspect. Now if you know anything about the shootings, please call Mobile Police. Underwater dive teams joining the search for Brian Laundry. He is a person of interest in the death of his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. Northport police say that a search of a 24,000 acre wilderness park in Florida yielding no new developments. The search included thousands of acres of swampy subtropical terrain containing alligators, snakes and other wild creatures. There are also more than 100 miles of hiking and horseback riding trails. Investigators say that Laundry's parents told them that he went there after returning home without Petito back on September 1st. The Food and Drug Administration authorizing emergency use of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine as a booster shot. The FDA says that those 65 and older, as well as people with underlying health conditions and those employed in high risk environments like hospitals, schools, homeless shelters and prisons will be eligible to get a third dose six months after receiving their second shot. The decision comes just days after the FDA decided against the Biden administration's original plan to provide a third shot to every eligible American eight months after their second dose. Officials citing several concerns over that proposal. One concern related to uh, benefit risk balance uh, in the general population of individuals 16 years of age and older. And a second question related to the uh, data and level of evidence uh, 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 to support uh, the safety and effectiveness of uh, a booster dose. Although the FDA has given Pfizer's booster the green light, the CDC is still reviewing health data in order to provide its financial, actually final recommendations on the shots. Alabama health officials giving an update on the state's shipment of monoclonal antibody doses. According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, the state will receive nearly 6,600 doses this week. Now that's down though from the 8,000 doses last week. Health leaders say the antibody treatment is a highly effective therapy that can blunt the worst effects of COVID-19 and avert hospitalization. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report clear and much cooler as fall air is finally in place across the Gulf Coast. We're expecting nothing but sun in the sky today. Temperatures to work their way to the upper 70s and with low humidity, it's going to feel fantastic. The showers associated with the front are already to the east of Jacksonville and our weather is going to be quiet and dry for several days. Here's a glimpse at tropical depression 18 out in the Atlantic. Maximum sustained winds are at 35. It's moving west at 15. This will get the name of Sam as we move in toward later this afternoon and tonight, and then it will become a hurricane, possibly even a major hurricane by next Tuesday. It does gain latitude. Hopefully it will bypass the Leeward Islands and not impact the U.S. mainland too soon to know whether it could move toward the Gulf, but we'll be watching it and following it over the next several days. Weather headlines for your Thursday. Much cooler this morning. This afternoon, perfect weather, sunny and breezy. And then over the weekend, we are expecting expecting conditions to stay dry. Here's a look at the Fox 10 future cast where we're all we're going to see is a few fair weather clouds at times. Other than that, it's going to be completely clear. That'll be the case for this afternoon tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. Here's how the next seven days are going to stack up. The high temperatures will be in the upper 70s and low 80s through the weekend. Morning temps mid to upper 50s as we move forward over the next several days from Friday morning to Sunday morning. And then we're expecting to see the morning temps go up just a little bit next Next week, but we stay far away from that summer air. We'll be keeping you up to date on your weather and all throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.